All right, I'm pulling up this video. Look, this video is old. You've probably seen it. I've never seen this. I've never seen this. Bro, listen to this first line. I was hysterical. I was hysterical, bro. 36-year-old truck driver Misty is obsessed with tartar sauce. Mm. It arouses me. Mm, delicious. <laughs> it arouses me, bro. I, I, I'm like, I'm, I'm uncomfortable watching this, dude. I'm not gonna lie. The tartar sauce first up is foul. Foul than a... Pouring it, drenching it on everything from cupcakes to spaghetti. Out of here, man. Who... <laughs> The producers f***ing with us, man. They're f***ing with us. They're like, oh, what would be the grossest sh Yo, let's put it on spaghetti and cupcakes back to back. They're going to hate it. They're going to hate it. Look at the way she put that on the Cheeto. That shit is too precise. It's either real or fake. Her children are revolted by her habit. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, and fear the worst is yet to come. Chili gave me another video. I might vomit. I might vomit watching this shit. I don't think I could do it. I really don't think I could do it, man. Tartar sauce is so whack. And to, to watch and endure this and like the... Sm With only one week of intense therapy. <sighs> Damn, bro. That is like a industrial grade drum. That ain't no bucket. That's a drum, dog. They move only three things in that shit. Drugs, gasoline, and impossible burger chemicals. And she got a fucking vat. You're morbidly obese. Oh, this is, the, this is the bitch from the burger episode. They cast her for the show. They were like, you're a medical ex expert, right? She's like, yes, I have a PhD in something, something. They're like, great. They bring her on the show. And all she does is walk up to her and she goes, you're morbidly obese. Tartar sauce in your purse? From drowning in tartar sauce. <laughs> Tartar sauce has taken over my life. Hmm. Bro, imagine this slide is just like connected to her face and she's just at the end of it like, give it to me. My mom, Missy, is a freaky eater. <laughs> Why did the producers make him say that? All right, um, okay. So just go ahead and say your name, your age, and then say, my mom is a freaky eater, okay? And action. My mom, Missy, is a freaky eater. Great, great. Cutting, cutting. Um, that was great. Uh, let's do it again, but let's lean into the freaky part. My mom is a freaky eater. Can you say it like that? Big rig driving Misty goes through a bottle of tartar sauce daily. That sounds like a porn star name. Big rig driving Misty. Click here if you think you can handle big rig Misty's tartar sauce pops on your tongue and the excitement, I love it. The excitement, I love it. What's up? My friends and I went out to eat. We put our leftovers all in the same container. Tartar sauce got all over my breakfast and I fell in love with it. When tartar sauce ruined her life. Imagine that shit. Your people take you out to a nice little dinner. You think it's going to be a cool little night on the town and you get addicted to the dumbest shit in there. Not cocaine, not heroin, nah, just fucking tartar sauce. Either that or it's going to be like her friends took her out one night and her best friend died in a car. And the last thing they ate together were french fries and tartar sauce. And then you're like, well, that's fucking cool. Yeah, I'm just going to, I'm going to walk and feel like shit for two days. Misty's a single mom. Her kids know that her tartar sauce addiction is destroying her life. They're both just like, ma, I relate to this all too well. <laughs> Looking at my mom do some shit, being like, mom, why you gotta do that? Why, you don't have to, you don't have to, you know, not all, not the whole, you know, it's on your hands and you're gonna, okay, all right. All right, mom, whatever. I'm like really scared for her because if my mom doesn't change her ways, she could get really sick or even worse, she could <sighs> die. What the fuck was that? Yo, I watched Hereditary and no part of Hereditary made me feel what the fuck I just felt right there watching tartar sauce on trick cereal and milk get mixed around. 
dog. No. I was hysterical during fucking hereditary and the motherfucker just put tartar sauce on cereal and I went, no! Why? <laughs> that was vile, dude. Misty. Ah, uh, sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. <laughs> what the fuck? You walk up through like he's Captain America. Misty. <laughs> sorry, didn't mean to scare you. Tartar sauce in your purse, Misty? Really? <laughs> Open that truck. She is powerless over the substance, and she's addicted. These motherfuckers called it a substance. Yeah, fucking cop. Yeah, base camp. Yeah, she, uh, we have paraphernalia in the vehicle. Stand by. I was thinking to myself, she's not really going to put tartar sauce in that jello. You've sort of crossed that line between using tartar sauce to feel pleasure, like a treat, mm -hmm. to needing it to feel normal. Who the fuck ever put tartar sauce on something as a little treat? Girls can have tartar sauce just as a little treat. <laughs> mm. It's delicious. <laughs> Look at him, horny as hell. Misty, you sick fuck. What are you doing on Friday? <laughs> when you need tartar sauce for every meal of every day, you are dependent on that substance. So you know he's fucking for real. He starts headbanging to his, his words. Misty needs to tone it down. It's gonna fuck her up. Being a single mom, there's no husband to help you shoulder the stress of raising kids. Right. And you fill that hole with that tartar sauce. Right. Bruh, if you can replace a husband with tartar sauce, do you, man. People do much worse. He must have not been shit. He's probably a great guy. That's why she likes the tartar sauce. Makes her feel happy. You know, it's something that she could take everywhere. But what I say, what I say about the dead person, right? Always got to be connected to a dead person. Always. It was time for shock therapy. <laughs> for real? Yeah, for real. <laughs> she got happy. She was like, oh, shit. Is this, is this a game show? Did I win? Is that why all the tartar sauce is here? What the fuck is going on? What do you think that represents? <laughs> this face, dude. What do you think that represents? JJ, don't make me say it. That represents a whole lot of fun right there. That's what I see, JJ. Oh, honey, this here, 156 gallons of tartar sauce. Damn! Give it up for Misty putting down four canisters of tartar sauce. Everybody, round of applause. 2,000 calories a day, 14,000 calories a week. I'd be looking at JJ like, bitch, I don't do math. What? You just throwing numbers at me and shit. I don't care. What does that mean? <laughs> Keo, you notice that ticker? They put that shit up like the fucking Dow Jones Industrial. Look at that shit. <laughs> they put a ticker on there like it's fucking, oh my God, like it's a blue chip stock stream. Tartar sauce up 2,000 points in Misty's body. <clears throat> Back to you. I would have never guessed in my wildest dreams that this is what I've been consuming. Yeah. For Bitch, stack up anything like that. Fucking sriracha, hot sauce. Stack up all the wings I ever ate and see if I fucking even feel an ounce of bad for that shit. Put all that shit. Bring out the truck. They're going to be like, you, Noel, have eaten 10,000 chicken wings in one year. I'd be like, dust me off, bro. <laughs> Clean me up. I want you to really feel what your habits like. Oh, no. Why, bitch? Why? You're obese and most likely at this point morbidly obese. <laughs> this could be as bad as it gets, but if you keep going. Damn, they really just had to face tuner with the shit? What, what even is this show, man? Damn, they have to do all that? They already made her stand in it and all this shit? This fucking awful, man. They're breaking her down, man. That's fucked up, dude. I feel like between the drums of tartar sauce and the picture with 50 more pounds on her, we've really got through to Misty. No shit, dog. No shit. He said, hey, man, you feel good about yourself? This is you fucked up. Take a look at that. Yeah, that's you right there. All fucked up in the picture. Yeah, that's you. Hey, Mike, I think I got through to her. She's fucking crying. I think I got it. I know. I'm the man. I'm the fucking man. Now JJ wants to get Misty back on track with her diet. 
Then they going to come in here and get all fucking extreme. Okay. All right. I put together a lot of fun and healthy ingredients that she can mix into the Greek style yogurt. Hey, you like tartar sauce? Uh, you can't have it anymore. What about raw organic honey? Let's try the berries. Let's go for the champagne vinegar. Oh my god. I'm I'm sorry. I'm in I'm in I'm in disbelief at this whole scenario right here. Could you imagine getting a whole fucking spread of bullshit laid out and some lady being like, "All right, make some nasty shit," and then you just gotta sit there and try to not be insecure, like. I don't know, you didn't really set me up for success here. Fucking honey and the bear, I don't, I don't know. Throw them all together, man. <laughs> With Misty's dietary choices now hinging on her willpower, Dr. Dow wants to delve into the impact of Misty's addiction on her family. All right, bro, they're just gonna shame her with her kids and then we're just gonna feel like shit for another fucking 10 minutes and then at the end they go, Misty's all fixed because the show is fake. I'm, I'm capping it here, bro. 